Do dust mites bite? Do dust mites bite? Maybe, maybe not. However, they can cause an allergic type skin reaction when they simply come into close contact with humans. They have chalicery, which is the technical term for the double pincer like mouths in arachnids and crustaceans. When a dust mite bites onto the skin cell of a human, their gnawing little mouths grind the flesh into smaller pieces that can be easily digested. A mite bite can appear as a red rash on the skin, and can cause discomfort and irritation to the person affected. Their favorite food is dander, the dead matter shed by the bodies of humans and animals, which as you can imagine, there would never be a shortage of this in the average household. You should not have to wait around until a dust mite bites you. You should not have to live with the knowledge that no matter how thoroughly you clean your home, there will still be millions of these microscopic bugs residing with you. These mites live in large groups, how large, you ask? Around 100,000 mites can live in one square yard of carpet or bedding. It's enough to make your skin crawl and your scalp itch, knowing that there are tens of thousands of tiny creatures biting down on your dead skin cells and hair, crawling and writhing in masses all over you, your family and your entire home. And as each mite bites down on another part of your body, you are completely unaware that you and your home have become the residence to millions of tiny, unwanted, scavenging visitors. Unpleasant, isn't it? If anyone in your household has asthma or any other type of allergy, if you have a newborn baby, young children, elderly family members, pets or if you just wish that the air in your home was clean, fresh, and free from nasty and possibly hazardous dust mites, then an air purifier is the perfect thing for you. With the growing number of airborne contaminants that are being breathed by people everywhere, the need for efficient air purifying filters are on the